guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do a smaller commission piece tonight, but I'm actually kind of excited to do it because I had to color match for it. So she sent me a picture of her shower curtain. She'd already bought one piece. She liked those colors, but she really wanted one to complement the room. And so I actually mixed the colors to match the shower curtain. So let's get started. Okay guys, what a mess. This is the third time I will be trying this small little canvas that's been giving me issues. This is a commission for a lovely lady that purchased one off my Etsy and wanted another one for her bathroom. So she actually sent me her shower curtain and I mixed these colors by hand, everything except the bluish gray or the grayish blue. So let me blow this out and then I'll talk to you about my colors. You know, I think every artist has those days, right? Where just, you try it, you try it. But I think I know what I didn't like about the other one and it was all the copper that was sitting on top. So layering your colors really matters as well. But you know, we all have those days. You just, you keep painting. What do you do when things don't go right? You say, thank you, Mr. Painting, for showing me what was wrong and you just keep on moving. Or Mrs. Painting. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get this right this time. So I'm gonna start right there gonna layer my purple. I think I'm gonna layer twice to have more of the colors in there. So I'm gonna go with the blue next. And then, whoopsie, I already layered those different than I did before, but what the heck? Let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna do my copper and not too much. Then I'm gonna come back in, whoops, just kidding, with a little bit more of each color. And let's see if that makes any difference. I'll show you the other painting as well, and you can see the difference in the two. Okay, so maybe, maybe this will go better. Okay, everybody. Cross your fingers for me, huh? Pour a little bit of white where I want it to flow. There's already a pretty good amount on the canvas, so. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I would have quit for the day if I had dropped the cup of white in this. <laughs> All right, let's paint. Definitely not as much copper. I'm very happy about that. It's actually a copper um, bronze mix. So I forgot to tell you about this part. So I made this beautiful peach color out of yellow gold, uh, magenta, and orange. I mixed and I, I matched it to her shower curtain basically. So if anybody wants a commission, I can do that sometimes. <laughs> This, I'm rambling today, guys. Um, this is an emerald green mixed with an, a turquoise green. This is bronze and copper mixed together. And this is Kaput Mortem with a blue violet. Okay, let's see how this blows out. I do like this one much better. Ugh, do I want to blow this with the blow dryer or with my mouth? I think I'll go with the blow dryer more. I think this part I'll do with my mouth. Okay, 
I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm loving the cells that are up here in the top. I've got my peach and my aqua more predominant. Still gonna fiddle with this one, guys. Sometimes it just, oh, whoa. Oh, today. See, I don't like that now. But today. I think I've lost my mind. <laughs> if you don't like it, you just blow that on off of there and I'm gonna put some more white down. And that white will end up um, drying flat, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just looking at composition. I just feel like there's just something that's not quite right, but I don't want that there either. Sometimes these are a struggle. The small ones especially, the big ones you can kind of fan out and blow out and get what you want. Okay, there we go. I wanted that wispy and I want this wispy. There we go. Okay, this back here still bothers me a little bit, but, and I want that gone. Okay. Don't like this. Okay. All right, what else? What else? Because I know you guys have been screaming at me to stop for like, how long is this video now? But I just like it to be perfect for commissions. Okay. So I opened that up right there to make it softer. You can blow it into the white to make it softer like that. Oh, I have paint stuck all over my feet. <laughs> okay. And I think one more blow up here and I think I'll be done. What do you guys think? Did I go too far? I don't think so, but I do want this off. And the 
this little thing is bothering me. now okay okay I'm done Whew. maybe I'm done okay here it is I really like it that's what I was talking about with like blowing into those soft edges. The colors are just perfect for what she sent me. It's very organic looking, even though I had to, it took me a long time to get it there. That's really pretty up there. That's going to dry very metallic. Oh, thank goodness. But I am also going to show you the other one that I did so that you can see the difference. So I'll show you the two of them when they dry. I'll show you the dried result. All right, so here are the two pieces. I told you I would show you the other piece too. So this was the first piece I did. And I mean, it's the copper in it is beautiful, but it's just a little too, too much, too brown. But after I let it dry, I realized I, I really love this piece too. So, um, but when I'm doing a commission and I have something in my mind, I really just want to go for it. So I like how this one, the copper's there, but all the colors are there. Nothing is really too predominant. And I like the composition as well. So this is the one that I made for her. And that was my first try. But I say, if you don't like something, let it sit for a little while because dry, it looks so different. And I love both of these. So there you have it. Premixed colors for shower curtain. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.